In this video, I want to talk a bit more about lookup tables, LUTs, lookup tables. You can read section 5.2 of the textbook starting on page 135. There are several pages on it there. I find the physical textbook preferable, but some of you may prefer the PDF. And I've loaded the PDF up on Canvas, and if you click on it, um, you go here and you can scroll down. But I find it a bit clunky and I would prefer if you downloaded the PDF file from here and then open the downloaded PDF file like this. And you'll find that this is a lot more receptive, a lot easier to use. You can scroll down the pages more. You can scroll down, you scroll back up. You can set the page that you want. We want page 135. So I put in 135, enter. It actually goes to page 119 because there are a lot of um, introductory pages to the book. But if we go to 119 and then we can move down bit by bit and get real page 135. There's 125 moving down. You should look at the book, you know, look at these pages. We've talked about many of these ideas. We haven't talked about entropy yet, but we're going down to 5.2. We haven't talked signal to noise ratio. We're looking at 5.2, right? And if we look at 5.2, we see here that pixel values, images, digital images are made from pixel values stored in a file. Pixel values are not the same as brightness values or gray values that you see on the screen. Pixel values are in the file and they need to be looked up to get gray values. You need to look up the pixel values in a lookup table to see what gray values you should use in the display on the monitor. So the connection between pixel values and gray values or brightness values is through the lookup table. Pixel values and gray values are not the same in general. So let me look down to this interesting diagram here and we'll turn it around like this here. And this shows the lookup table in several different formats. First of all, what it really is, is a list of pixel values and a list of corresponding gray values or brightness values. So you come in here with the pixel value of four and the lookup table tells you you should paint the monitor with grayscale 16. Right. The pixel values are in a range zero to 255. The brightness values are also running zero to 255, but let's call them black to white. So we look up a pixel value, we get a gray value or brightness value, and we send that to the monitor. We could also look at the lookup table in the form of a graph where the pixel values are along the horizontal and the brightness values or the gray values running from black to white are running up here. There are 256 of them and there are 256 pixel values. And this is the default lookup table where you look up a pixel value and you get the same brightness value. So this is another way to look at a lookup table. It doesn't have to be a line like this. In fact, these numbers would suggest that this lookup table is a line that travels up a lot steeper. So that when you look up pixel value one, you don't get brightness value one, you get brightness value three. 
when you look up 2, pixel value 2, you get gray value 7. When you look up 3, you get gray value 11. Right, so different ways of looking at this here. Either two columns of numbers or a two-dimensional graph. You look up pixel values, you get brightness. You look up pixel values, you get brightness. Or you could show them like this here. The pixel values run 0 to 255. The brightness values run from black through to white. If we go to image J, image J, open up image J, and we want to open up in images for 345. Look down here, and you should have brain pathology. Open that up. It's an 8-bit grayscale image. We'll make a duplicate of it, a copy of it. And we'll look at this grayscale image. And we can see its lookup table if we look in here in image color. Although it's not a color image, it's an 8-bit gray image. But we look under color here and we'll go to show lookup table. And we see that lookup table. This is pixel values. These are brightness values. Image J has it a little bit confused. But these are the pixel values that you look up and then you get the gray values. This really should be up the vertical axis. And we can get a listing of them. Um, although they're listed as red, green and blue. But it's really a grayscale image. So we'll just take one of these here. And for this simple default lookup table, pixel 1 is gray value 1. Pixel 2, pixel value 2 gives you gray value 2. 3 gives you 3. That's what we're seeing here. We can also look up, click on this here, in image color and look at edit lookup table. We've looked at this before. For color images, here we see for this here, we see that if you look up pixel value of 0, you get black. If you look up 15, you get this. Not quite black. 16, you get this. 31, you get this. All the way up, looking up pixel values from 0 to 255, get you gray values from black to white in this default lookup table. So I want to take this grayscale image and and go to image lookup tables and we could add false color to it. We can add this color to it. We can add this color to it, this range of colors. We're adding false lookup tables or false color or pseudo color. We can look up any of these other ones and paint the grayscale image with false color. Let us go and paint it with this one which is called Jet. So that it looks like this here. If we go, we're looking at this image, if we go image color, edit lookup table, we see all the false colors there. When we look up pixel value of 0, we get that. When we look up 15, we get that. When we look up 16, we get this color. 31, we get this color. 255. In the image file, we paint the pixel this color here. So that's the lookup tables now for this false color image. We can see it the other way. Show lookup table. Although at first sight it's a little confusing. 
uh, we can list and see what happens now. These are the pixel values that are in the image file and a combination of these here is what we see now on the monitor. So if we have a zero, we see blue at 131 on a range 0 to 255. If we look up 2, we get a brighter blue, a brighter blue still. If we look up down here, we can get, we look up 40, we get a combination of green and blue. You know, we look up 45, we get a different combination and so on. Down here we can get combinations red, green and blue. But this is not a red, green and blue file. That's the lookup table. Uh, we've seen in color edit. We only have 256 false colors here, not red, green and blue, where we have 16 million, over 16 million colors. So um, let me show you this here. On this, we can go down here and add the lookup table menu or anything else that we like here to this bar. So we can put lookup table and then it gets added up here and then we have easy access to those lookup tables instead of going through image lookup tables. We can pick them up from here. And we can do that, these shortcuts uh, for other functions. If we want to take away that lookup table, we'll remove it. Uh, but it removes rather more than we wanted to. We'll restore some of these other ones, but not the lookup table here. So it'll look like that. So we've got a grayscale image and we've added false color or pseudo color just to be able to see the differences a little bit more clearly. But still, we only have 256 colors. So this is still an 8-bit. If we look at image type, it's listed as an 8-bit gray, but it's an 8-bit gray with false color. It's not an 8-bit color, real color with 8 bits. It's not RGB color. It's 8-bit gray with a false color lookup table. Remember last time, um, we can do it again here quickly. Last time we looked up color Lena, Lena color, open her up. This is an RGB image, an RGB image. If we look up here an image type, it's RGB color. We can change it to 8-bit color by clicking there on 8-bit color and it picks the best 256 colors and we can see that in edit lookup table. Those are the best 256 colors to make up this image which is an 8-bit image now. Uh, it's an index color image and we saw before we can also take the color away completely and make it 8-bit gray rather than 8-bit color and we can look in this, although we still look up at this color, we can look up and see the grays in the lookup table. So I want you to remember this lookup table, you look up pixel values and you get values to paint the monitor, either gray values or color values. And we looked at different types of image, grayscale image, grayscale with a false lookup table, real color images, RGB images, 8-bit color images, and back to grayscale images.